Kirsty TV is about the power of sharing stories that heal ourselves and heal others. My guests share their most intimate stories and lessons learned along the way. Welcome to Kirsty TV. I'm out here today in gorgeous California, Pasadena, where I'm about to meet the pie lady to have my first pie baking lesson. Beth Howard believes that pies are about more than just pies and eating. They're also about providing joy, connection, community, comfort, and bringing people together. So not only are we gonna bake the pies, but we're then gonna give them away to people. So I'll see you in there. All right, we're here, okay. ready to bake. That no, I use my outfit. I use my apron as a towel. That's that's why when I really actually do use the apron. It's not just I may need it as a beard, cute. <laughs> like to stop the dribble of pie. All right, are you ready to make pie? Then? I'm ready. Okay. I hear you're a rebel pie maker though. You don't usually read the recipe. Yeah, I don't really like to measure. That's the problem. I'm, I that's why I use these shakers. You know, then I can just go tools are your hands. And this is a wonderful experience. This is part of why I love making pie. It's the it's the sensual, tactile experience where you really engage with your food. Who, who are you making this pie for? Think about that ahead of time. You know, have somebody in mind. This is something that you're going to share. That's what pie is about. It's about sharing. It's about building community. It's about bringing people together. And maybe it's just about brightening somebody's day. If you bring a homemade pie, that you did not buy the crust already made. You did not buy it prepackaged. You made everything with your hands and with your heart. So I really like the, I think there's something important about you. So what is, what do you think is your philosophy around how pies can heal people? I think that, you know, people need to realize that they can give something of themselves, even in the smallest way, even one homemade pie can make such a difference, you yeah. know, and you don't have to start a nonprofit organization just to, to make a difference in the world. You know, it could be yeah. just, you know, going down the street to a neighbor who's grieving or who's suffering or who just, you know, lost their job or something, yeah. you know, just to yeah. cheer somebody up. <laughs> what's your, um, what's your favorite pie story of your own? Oh, I always, I take pride in cheering up the toughest customers, you know, like once I had a landlord who was so grumpy and he would never smile and I, I had to break my lease and he was so angry. I mean, he was really yelling at me. And I came back a couple days later with the peach pie that I gave him. And he couldn't say thank you and he couldn't smile. Oh! But yeah. But I knew in my heart that giving him that pie was going to be something that was going to make a difference. Yeah. You know, and sure enough, like about four days later, I ran into him in the driveway and he was like, that pie was um, good. <laughs> you know, but hey, that was, to me, that was just the biggest progress. You know, that was so meaningful and you just had to understand that yeah. I've never met a grumpier person and to have actually reached through and in, into his unhappiness was, was a real sense of accomplishment. That's amazing. Um, in your new book that's coming out you talk about 10 different things that you believe Pi does. Can you remember all of them? Or some <laughs> oh, of them? Those are my <laughs> chapter headings, uh, my chapter titles. Yes, um, Pi is to comfort, Pi is to lift your spirits, Pi is to keep an open mind, Pies to heal, pies to seduce. <laughs> that's pie, my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite too. But I never have anyone um, to seduce with the pie. Well, you know what? I bet you if you had a pie baking in the oven of your apartment, <laughs> that scent would be going down the hallway and people would be coming in from all corners could be of your building just to see. A way to capture people, you think. Uh, you know what? Every pie should be unique and reflect your personality. And, <laughs> and you know, it, pie is not about perfection. It should look homemade. You know, people should know that you made this with your own two hands. It shouldn't well, look like it's perfect. Then I'm going to put a Love Heart apple in there because this is the pie of love. Excellent. Bringing in romance. Awesome. But if I can't find a man at the Pasadena train station. Oh, that's adorable. Boy, that isn't a love pie. You can also use this cookie cutter for cutting out your dough. Like you can put a heart on top as well. Okay. To make it really obvious. This is pie. It's this is all about pie love. of love. <laughs> well, we've got the cinnamon in there in abundance, which is, what did you say it was? A uh, seduction spice. What, like an aphrodisiac. Yeah. Yeah. Is, that, is that what it is? <laughs> Absolutely. My pie of love. So tell me about how you started on this journey when your husband passed away and what your, what your philosophy or learnings have been around how pie has a healing power. Well, after my husband died, I was, I found myself in a situation where I was um, taping a little TV pilot with a friend, just kind of as a little documentary about pie. 
and we decided that for one of the things in this little show, we were going to bake 50 pies and hand them out by the slice on the streets of Los Angeles. And, and this was five months after my husband died, and it was the most incredible experience. We made pies exactly like this, the way we made them today, and then we set up a table outside and handed pie out, and people were really excited about it, and they were saying, God, this makes me feel so good that somebody did something nice, you know, and, and it makes me, in turn, want to do something nice for somebody else, and, and the discovery for me was that even at a time that I was at my lowest point in my life, I realized I still had something left to give to the world, that I could still make a contribution to life and mm -hmm. make people happy in the midst of my unhappiness. And, and that was so powerful that I'd gone on to do more of that. And um, after the uh, Sandy Hook shooting in Newtown, Connecticut in December of 2012, right? Um, I loaded up my RV with pie baking supplies and people pitched in and said, we'll help you pay for gas, I'll help you drive, I want to help you bake, I want to buy apples, I'll come over and peel apples. And we gave away 250 pies wow. in Newtown, Connecticut to help the grieving community. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, we've got so much free pie. So what do we do now? We put the sign up and people start right? yeah, coming. And and people will have a hard time accepting the fact that, what, why are you giving away free pie? They, they, it really doesn't register in their brains. So you really kind of have to say, no, really, it's free. Let's go give away pie. It's fabulous. It's like Christmas. I love pie. Awesome. And it's free. <laughs> comes an unsuspecting commuter. Would you like pie, sir? Yes. It's free. Oh, that's wonderful. This wow. Is I am having so much fun giving away pie. You're right. This just makes you feel good inside. Right? And, I, and if I am. you feel good and you make other people feel good and then they're going to go and make other people feel good and it's a win-win-win. I don't even feel silly standing here with a sign giving away pie. Like, it's worth it. Seeing that guy's face, like, he just lit up. <laughs> is there a big piece, she says. This is one of the biggest. Do I give that to you? This one? You look like you're a The last piece of pie. It's the last piece of free pie. Has it got your name on it? Yeah. There you go, sir. All right. Thank Enjoy. you much. Okay, muchas gracias por el pie up on. Está muy bueno. A ver cuando vienen a traer más. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Giveaway pie is like being a flash mob. What an amazing afternoon it has been. I thought I was going to learn to bake pies, but I learned that pies can really heal, build community and connect us all together. I had so much fun giving away the pies, seeing how happy people were and how such a simple thing that you make yourself and give of yourself can really bring people together and provide so much joy. I'll see you next time on Kirsty TV. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel below, tweet us, Facebook us, post your comments. I love hearing from you and we'll see you next time. I remember asking Of course. And I also remember fast forwarding.